Welcome back adventurers and hello any newcomers. Today I want to show you an incredibly easy and quite profitable way to camp normal mode care pack on a budget. Starting out we have tier 80 necromancy gear as well as a tier 70 helmet and tier 70 boots, doesn't matter too much. If you have better gear that's great but this will work just fine. I also have a amulet of blood fury for healing. You could definitely use an Amulet of Souls or an Essence of Finality, but this works just fine. In our ring slot, we have the Enriched Pontifex Shadow Ring. Now, you need this unlock to stop the stun mechanic when Carapac does his melee jump. However, you can unlock this as a passive, and I already have it unlocked, but I wanted to show you guys and wear it just for a visual reminder. So, you can use a Ring of Death if you have the passive unlocked. You could also use a Reaver Ring if you have it, but this works just fine. I'm also going to be using a Scripture of Jazz. Feel free to use an Illuminated God Book or anything else you'd like to use. I like to use this because the pages are free. As you probably know, Carapac drops these, and they're pretty valuable at the moment, but you'll find your, yourself really able to keep this full if you're camping hard mode Carapac. Also, we're going to be using a Ripper Demon. This is for the passive damage. If you don't have a Ripper Demon, um, you know, because you don't have Ancient Summoning Unlock, you might be able to use something like a Steel Titan to get you by. Uh, I don't think food typically will be an issue with for most people here, at least with this uh, setup we got. Um, after that, the only kind of expensive item you're going to need is Cinderbane Gloves. Now, if you don't have Cinderbane Gloves, simple fix after a couple hours of doing this boss you can simply go buy yourself a pair but what they do is they're going to enhance your weapon poison this is going to allow you to do more damage with less input making this boss even chiller i've also got a death warden nexus which is completely free to make definitely recommend you take the time to go and make one of these holds all of your ectoplasm and runes i've also got some quorum incense sticks this makes um this makes your weapon poison do more damage, which I promise that you want. You're also going to have weapon poison plus 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 in your inventory. Do not skimp on this. This is what makes these kills so chill in comparison to trying to do it without weapon poison. Also going to be adding vulnerability bomb. If you're new to using these, don't fret. I've got an easy way to show you how to do it. Right here I've got my buff bar, which is the abilities I use before we start. I don't want you to think about it too much. There's only a few we're going to use on here, like our Overload, Quick Prayer, the Darkness Incantation, and then we're going to conjure all of our um, <clears throat> conjure all of our conjures, I guess. And then also throw throw Vulnerability Bomb. So I'm going to teach you how to do a couple of low input things before the fight starts. Let's get right into it. While we head there, we're going to drink our Weapon Poison. We're going to light our Quarm Incense Stick. Also recommend having an enhanced Excalibur. Oh, and we should probably throw on an aura, huh? I'm gonna use Dark Magic. You can definitely use Majorat, Supreme Invigoration, or even a Vampirism Aura. Vampirism Aura is pretty good in conjunction with the Reaver Familiar. So right here, as you can see, we've got a normal mode kill. We've also got an Adrenaline Potion. If you have enhanced re replenishment potions, that also works. So we're gonna do our pre-rotation. I'm gonna hit F1. F2 to turn on my quick prayers, which has my necromancy attack prayer. Let me turn it on the lower one. I have the tier 9 divine unlocked, but I would say most people watching the guide might not. So here we go. And then I'm also going to conjure my undead army. And then we're going to run forward. We're also going to use split soul. Oop. And start the fight. Now we're going to use both of our abilities of our conjures before we start. Right off rip, we let Revolution do its thing. <clears throat> now, there's only going to be a couple mechanics we're going to be obeying. We're going to be clicking under here when he starts to lift his staff. That way we uh, don't get stunned. We're doing more damage this way. I'm still not using any input. Full Revolution is doing its thing. Now, also, you can have a... If you have an Essence of Finality, you might have your Death Grasp in there if you have an Omni Guard. And then also, right here, we're going to do one of our other inputs, which is just a simple Surge. If you want to switch to melee when he lands, perfect, but you could also leave on soul split. He's not going to hit too high on you. As you can see, I'm maintaining my own my own health quite easily with revolution. Right here, we're just going to do the same thing once again. I didn't use my Vuln Bomb, but you can. It's 
going to increase the damage output by 10%. Once again, I'm going to run under him, click him again, it's going to keep going. And I mean, just like this, you can even, if it starts to get more chill for you, you can add stuff like Split Soul, which is just a, a necromancy incantation. You've also got the Time Warp ability here, which uh, will restore you back to your factory settings. It basically takes you back uh, 10 seconds, so you, if you want to regain adrenaline, but you really don't even need to use this. Um, if you do use it, it's probably best to use it like when you're at full health, that way when you lose the health, you'll be teleported back prayer went off so turn it back on turn our tier 95 boost back on I don't have a key down and then you're gonna be heading into the last phase right here where Karapak is um, he's on the ropes you've almost got your first kill so right here we're going steady and I'm literally clicking and doing nothing this is all full revolution at 50k he's gonna go into the final phase probably get one more jump mechanic like I said if you want you can turn on melee prayer here <clears throat> also it's not a bad idea to use penance powder but you're really gonna be cutting into your profit this melee attack here you can sit and stall him to where he doesn't jump again but he only takes half damage during that so be aware as far as the perks on my armor I do have like enhanced devoted I'm not using protect prayers that much so it's not necessarily as important and then also with the power armor, you will death mark him automatically. So you see how it killed him at like 30k hit points. And there you go. Very first hard mode terror pack kill. As you can see, this loot kind of was trash this time. But it is often over a million coins per kill. Don't forget, you can also get the incredibly valuable scripture of Jass and the greater concentrated blast ability codex. The Karapak wrist wraps, which it also drops, are not worth that much at the moment, but I think they're worth around a million GP. I wanted to do another kill just to show you the average loot here. A lot of, t a lot of the times, the loot can be over a million GP, and you also get troves that come from this boss that can give you pages to the Jass book, which are around 800k at the moment, and, ooh, we got an effigy, very nice. Uh, you also get dragonkin bones, which are worth quite a bit of GP. I also definitely like effigies. This kill is worth about 500k GP, and you also get quite a bit of charms. No trove on this one, but the troves can also give you a, um, they can give you jazz pages, and they can also give you onyxes, as well as, I believe, 15 dragonkin bones. Let me know what you think about this super simple full revo guide. If there's anything I can improve on, if you have any questions. If you want to see it done in even worse gear, I mean, it, it's definitely doable in tier 70 gear quite easily. I don't really know that I would recommend more than that because uh, if you're using like tier 60 gear, maybe you should prioritize that instead of uh, camp and care pack at the moment. But either way, hope this was helpful. Thanks again for watching. Pride Slayer out.